and of course it's going to be a um, a couples a couples scream out in uh, in the class of course uh, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend having a uh, good battle royal but here we go now as Damien White gets into position Joshua Smith in the V Ricky Anderson and his V and Donovan Ramsey will all join Hayden Elwood is out there in the Swift as well uh, after having troubles with that car over the last few race meetings uh, Jordan and um, it's looking like a pretty decent field I looked at the um, the book now and it says that there were 13 entrants but only nine on the grid at the moment but uh, split amongst three classes uh, class S class V and class C so it's nice seeing a good separation even though it, there's not that many cars we watch the lights and they're out and away the leaders go and DJ Boyson will get the jump on Storm Lanphier in those Formula V's as they make their way or oh sorry Formula S uh, class S cars as they make their way into turn one but Storm Lanphier is not going to let DJ Boyce get away so early and so easily. And he'll be right on the tail and go around the outside into Kestrel Corner. <laughs> but it's about holding that grip and DJ Boyce is going to have to give it up because you don't want to turn in with an open wheel car because that would be carnage. As they make their way now through the kink and inter interceptor corner, take the rest away, Byron. Well, Kelly Fletcher leads uh, the uh, V section and look at the gap that she's pulling on Byron Mitchell already as they go now towards turn three interceptor shoes corner that's the two at the top here get that uh, seagull out of the way there as these two class s cars a storm around the double apex right hander here comes kelly fletcher from byron mitchell from of course the class c man uh, damian white the only one of two class c's in the field uh, along with hayden elwood and now they open up onto the uh, back straight for the very first time over here but uh, the start there jordan uh, it was a great start for uh, DJ Boyce, and it looked almost like uh, uh, Lanfear was actually standing still there, but it was only a matter of time, as you said, that before he got at that place, right back. But now this uh, Class S battle is going to be the one to watch as they make their way into Turn 1. They are very, very close together as the rest, excuse me, as the rest of the field comes across the line. Kelly Fletcher, followed by Byron Mitchell and by Damian White. So I think uh, those two... Formula V's at the front there with a bit of a lock up from Damian White there. Um, that's not going to help him out very well in that GTI uh, Ray Formula car there. But we watch as they make their way towards Castrol Corner. Yeah, Castrol Corner look now. Tucking in right behind Kelly Fletcher is Byron Mitchell. And watch out there as well for Damian White. They come out of that section now through the kink. They will then run and towards Interceptor Corner, Turn 3. Now through Turn 3, they'll then run. When will the move be made? There's going to be a move, I'll tell you that much. And could it happen on this lap or the next? We'll find out shortly as they charge around there to Turn 4. Start or sweep. And uh, already now coming out of turn five now, the leaders are coming onto the main straight. And uh, it is uh, closer than we expected as Lanfear. Last time around, two tenths of a second between himself and the Daiko Racing Man. It is now seven tenths. A 114-307 for Storm Lanfear. And seven tenths of a second, almost eight between himself and Boyson, who briefly led. Well, I would say the opposite, Byron. The gap's actually lengthened by a considerable margin. As we see, it lengthened even more. DJ Boyson not on the pace to the back of Storm Lampier at the moment as they make their way through Castrol Corner. But we still have six and a bit laps to go, so I'm sure there's more than enough time as we watch crossing the line now. Byron Mitchell still ahead of Kelly Fletcher. Then Hayden Elwood. Then Joshua Smith. Ricky Anderson. Damian White has dropped down. I believe Damon White's gone out. Yep. We can't find that uh, GTI Ray car. I see there's a yellow flag in turn five there. It's getting pushed by the marshals uh. coming out of turn five. Very, very unfortunate as he was fighting for that third position overall. But we look towards the kink and interceptor corner. Now, Byron, look at that battle between Byron Mitchell and Kelly Fletcher. Yeah, change of positions as predicted, but Kelly Fletcher holds on to the back of Byron Mitchell, but we go from nine to eight. As uh, Jordan pointed out, Damian White exiting the race in his number 29 GTI, Formula GTI course. Now, across the line we go on the uh, next lap. It is going to be into turn one and running up soon to turn two. It is going to be... Uh, five into five okay the leaders uh and a yellow flag though waving in turn five so no passing in 
that section. Of course, Kelly Fletcher will hold position now right behind uh, Byron Mitchell. Byron Mitchell will just hold it so uh, he can thank his lucky stars there a little bit that there was a yellow flag up, but it's only a matter of time, Jordan, before another move is made, maybe towards turn one. As they come across the line now, Byron Mitchell still ahead of Kelly Fletcher. And they will battle it out as they make their way through turn one. But Hayden Elwood crosses the line in that Class C, fo followed by Joshua Smith and Ricky An Anderson. The gap between uh, Joshua Smith, Ricky Anderson, and Donovan Ramsey as he crosses the line now is quite large. So I'm not sure the rest of the, f uh, the Class V battle will grow at all. Just coming out of turn five, uh, Jordan, sorry to jump in there. It's going to be our leaders, the two Reynards, that uh, make their way down. And uh, it was 1.6 seconds between the two of them. Lanfia crosses the line now with a 1.13, a 3.91, the fastest lap of the race. And he's increased his advantage by two tenths of a second over DJ Boyson. So it's still the two of them together, but uh, increasing the advantage every little bit going towards turn two now. Castro Corner, he's going to have to keep his head down over here, old Lanfia, because anything can still happen with uh, the man behind him. Now we see still a yellow flag out at the moment, even though that um, Damien Whitecott is out of the way. I'm not sure if it's still in a bit of a um, unsafe position. We see it there just next to the scrutineering building, but there's still a marshal on the other side of the tires, which will probably be cause for concern as we wait for them to jump back over the tires. We watch this group now, the Class V leader. Yeah. Followed by, oh no, I lied, but they're going to go and switch it up into turn one. Kelly Fletcher is going to dive on the inside of Byron, but oh, she has to pull out at the last second halfway through the corner. I think Byron squeezed her a little bit onto the apex and she had to let off the throttle. Otherwise, there may have been contact, but she's going to dive around the outside very late on the brakes. But Byron seems to be slowing Byron <laughs> and well, that gap has grown immensely. Uh, it looks like he's slowing down considerably, Jordan. Look at that now. Out of turn two, he'll then run into the kink. I think his race might be run. Can he make it back to the pits? That's the big question. Or will he have to park it somewhere? As the leaders come around now into turn two now, Castro Corner. They are lapping the field. Donovan Ramsey, Ricky Anderson will be the next man. And we could go from eight to seven very shortly. And I believe I also saw that uh, Joshua Smith has overtaken Mr. Elwood at the moment in that second Class C car. But we'll watch now as the leaders come on towards the back straight. There they are in the Reynards as they catch the back markers. There's Ricky Anderson and Storm Lanfear will make his way past those back markers into turn five per Tamina Fostron. But with all these back markers, this might either slow Storm up or it'll slow DJ Boyson down, which would be a negative and a positive for both in their respective regard as we see Damon White's car strand on the outside of turn five. Well, the good news is, Jordan, the uh, yellow flags have been retracted. So we can uh, have full racing through that section again. Lanfear, DJ Boyson, cross the line, going into turn one and head already now almost for turn two. Our two leaders, they've got two laps left to go in this race. And uh, if you see now, Kelly Fletcher has yet to uh, complete the uh, next uh, lap. Still uh, completing that sixth lap. Joshua Smith will be second in the V-Class. Hayden Alwood, the only Class C man left over here in fifth position. Ricky Anderson will be the uh, Class V or the Libra V, uh, sixth position overall in the race, but uh, third, and then Donovan Ramsey will be the fourth place man in class, seventh overall, as we are now with a lap and a bit left to go with the leaders going through Sorrel Sweep. So we have lost another car in the car of Byron Mitchell. So even with the removal of the yellow flag, that's not going to help at all for that uh, top end of the class V battle. Now Kelly Fletcher will sit on her own, making her way into five now. As she gets passed by the leaders, Ooh. there Storm Lanfear passes her around the inside as they make their way down the main straight now towards the start finish straight to start their final lap. Storm Lanfear will cross the line with a 113.503. So still going quick, but not quicker than his fastest lap. But DJ Boyson, a 113.403, a tenth faster but still not fast enough to catch up to that blue Reynard. 
Yeah, it's been the story of the race, uh, Jordan, as uh, they make their way through Castrol Corner now, that beautiful blue Reynard, followed by the Dyco Racing Machine, of course, prepared uh, beautifully by uh, Stephen Reed, Kelly Fletcher, also uh, a uh, runner here as well, having just been lapped now and uh, going to be finishing uh, on uh, seven racing laps at the end of this. But here they come through the double apex right-hander at Saddle Sweep or Malmesbury, whichever way you want to call it, down the back straight. We then run the curved back straight here at uh, Killarney and down now into turn five, Pertamina Fastron after having uh, relinquished the lead briefly, coming back and winning by close to three seconds it is going to be storm land fear you'll see the checkered flag across your screens right about now and uh, that is the victory for him dj boyson by 2.4 seconds and then kelly fletcher having been lapped will be the uh, winner of libra v we just wait for the rest of the field crossing the line now kelly fletcher on her own after a great battle with her um, with her partner byron mitchell or partner, boyfriend, Byron Mitchell, um, who unfortunately had to drop out of this race with, I would assume, some sort of technical issue. But now, second place, Joshua Smith in that 83 Class V crossing a line and very, very close at the line for third place in Class Rickley Anderson and Hayden Elwood. Even though Hayden Elwood is in Class C, e, very good battle with Ricky Anderson right to the end. Donovan Ramsey comes across the line now, and that will... <laughs> there's that seagull again, Byron. <laughs> Screen time. It's a very brave seagull, I'll tell you that much. But they're not as brave as they are in Canada a number of years ago for the Canadian Grand Prix, watching Sebastian Vettel go through the chicane. But uh, yes, there, of course, uh, our winner, the man who was slow off the start but made up for it within the first uh, few hundred meters of this race, and uh, Storm Lanfear coasting around on his slowing down lap. Now, I wonder, will Dolphin Engineering and um, the team out there for Byron Mitchell be able to get that car sorted for race two? Because we know, as the, uh, as the, the program says, the first and second race are very close because they're both before lunch, so they don't have much time to fix that. Yeah, not much at all, uh, Jordan. And that's, of course, a problem that uh, is specific to this uh, form of program. But uh, I have no doubts that the, uh, the geniuses and the technical brains there at Dolphin Engineering will make sure that car will be close at least to getting out there again for the race uh, a little bit later on. But I do see you looking, are, are looking at the program there. And we're going to be moving on now to the MGA Racing Clubman's Classic and Breakfast Run Motorcycles. Two classes of bikes before lunch.